Okay, hey, has anybody seen my pellet guns? I gotta go to the store. No. Oh, here's one. Here's one here. Should I walk to the store with this one? Um, maybe. Yeah. It looks pretty real. Or which one should I go to the store with this one? Yeah, yeah. La la da 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 da. La da la. gonna use a car, but I went on foot. <laughs> I was gonna call up a friend and wait, but I went on foot. They shouldn't have called the cops, and you know why. What, man? Yeah, hey. Pellet guns are okay, pellet guns are okay, pellet guns are okay. Hello, oh, and welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, it's a little dark in my room. They're painting in the other room. And even though it is daylight outside, it's still January. And it's cold. It's cold every day. Gray. Okay, so today we're talking about... I have some fucking notes around here. Oh my god, my internet. Fuck! This is a Mission BC and Neighbors. I'm interacting as myself. Cool. <laughs> I'd hope so. Mission RCMP quickly nab gun-toting suspects. Taser. Scary. Pellet guns, thankfully. There were a lot of police by James Welton and second. Come on, watch out that road. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not illegal. Still an illegal. If it's an unloaded rifle, it is still dumb as shit. Very. When I had air rifles, I at least cracked the barrel. Because these days, they can make these guns so real looking. These days. They can make guns real looking for fucking a long time. Tommy Burst has automatic bolt action. Fire off a burst of 10 shots. But Tommy Burst alone is $3. Go around with pellet guns and public nowadays, you have rocks for brains and probably seek some help. These people seem to understand. Oh my god, was it a full assault pellet gun? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah my kid, oh yeah. it's not illegal, but it's dumb as heck walking around with it. There used to be a store on first. Blah, 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 right? In 1976, I drove my pickup truck to high school with a gun rack loaded with guns to high school every day. I don't even own a gun, let alone many guns that would necessitate an entire rack. How things have changed. Oh yeah? 1976, eh? Why do I think that's... A high school... You went to high school with a gun rack loaded with guns. I don't know, why, why are you driving to school with a whole bunch of guns? It's it's was it's was the liberals' fabrication of a new crime. People are so dumb now. Yeah. When a pellet gun makes the news, what next? A slingshot? Uh, have you guys never heard of cops shooting people for things they thought were guns? In fact, the greatest example of this. Then this is going back 30 years now. Uh, Carlos, can we run a clip? I shot a kid. Dark, I couldn't see him. He had a ray gun look real enough. It's a die hard. Baseman was written in this article. What they were doing was perfectly legal. This is Darren Falco. They were 100% within their rights to carry that toy in public. However, they must realize that they are serious out of place and were also 100% going to be checked to make sure everything was legal. The fact that they were taken into custody makes me think there is more to this. Yeah, that they had realistic looking guns. And this is so stupid. To even. Oh man. Great job, Pops. It's always fun talking to the police while trying to shoot invasive creatures and such. It makes me worry. Even my kids are just shooting targets in my own yard. Some cop could come by and use them as a target. I shot a kid. He was 13 years old. Oh, it was dark. I couldn't see him. He had a ray gun to Overreaction seems to be their first react. Okay, first of all, you're talking about a yard. This is public. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they can figure that out. Looks like this guy's been blocked or something. Someone said this guy was carrying this pellet gun peacefully. What exactly does that mean? You're now with Oswald and his gun. And when you're with Oswald and his gun, you're safe. And in a world of peace and tranquility and fluffy bunny rabbits. Dude, there was more on this a while ago. I was reading it before. What the hell was it? Yeah, where was that? Either way, I don't have time to sit here and dilly-dally around, but there was someone named, uh, Jackie Khan? Jackie... anyway. 
Uh, she was arguing with someone named, I don't know, Victor or Vincent. I think his name was Vincent. Vincent's a cool name. It's like uh, a guy from Pulp Fiction. But Vincent basically was your pro-gun guy saying there's nothing wrong with it. And she was saying how, you know, like, what if, excuse me, what if your kids were by the park or something and you saw some guy walking around? Uh, did I remember to turn the stove? Who walks around with guns normally? Like, you know, yeah, we're just going to school. But there was this guy, what was his name? I mean, this one too, but it was even better. He was saying when he was like a little kid, him and his friends, they used to bring pellet guns to school. They always used to bring pellet guns to school. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Down in what? Like, uh, Mississippi? Texas? Sure, okay. Oopsie. It was actually James, and he said before my time, kids brought their pellet guns to school. Although I've checked, he's a fairly young-looking guy, so 70s and maybe even 80s is still before his time anyway, so nothing really changes. Yeah, so they used to bring pellet guns to school when they were in elementary school. What happened next? They grew up and became the bad guys in Die Hard? I wonder if all the widows and widowers of police that died by guns wish their spouses had overreacted. <laughs> Widow, yeah, Rick Davies is actually right here. Everyone can be a downer. I try to stay positive. <laughs> Just seems that the cops receive more uh, negative comments than anything else. Not a job most people would do, but still feel free to criticize, but would be the first to be jabbing at their phones for 9 11 if somebody was coming at them with a pellet gun. The if I'm really in trouble, the last thing I'll be thinking about is calling 911. That was crazy. Alright, police! Yeah! I'd like to report a disturbance! What's my name? My name's a Joey. Joey Zakansky. Oh, wait, what name? I ain't got no name. What name? I ain't my name, Zakansky. Who said Zakansky? It's some TV show. I eat a pepperoni pizza. Forget about it. Ain't that a beautiful thing? Yeah! If you're really in trouble, well, what are you going to do then? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. I don't think this is a, a smart thing to do. Like, when you know something's going to happen, why do you do it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know oh, yeah, I mean? oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, Like, you, you have this victim card. Like, do you honestly think that you didn't know that the cops would come if that happened? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, how often are you out around walking around with pellet guns and stuff? You know, if they're not, if they're going to react like that, then they're going to react before and they're going to react after to the same thing. You know what that means? That means you aren't doing it. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? What is the, you know what I mean? Clearly there's a disadvantage to it. Why don't you just have it in like a, a, a case and, and a vehicle and drive something? Don't they just walk around it. What is this gonna happen? I mean, look, I like carrying guns the same as everyone else, but I mean, can't you just wait until after the evening news? Let's just see what it says here on the gun laws. In Canada, non-restricted firearms must be unloaded and either made inoperable with a secure locking device such as a trigger lock or locked in a sturdy container cabinet or room that cannot be easily broken into this is uh i guess for your house uh restricted and prohibited firearms must be unloaded on yeah, yeah this is different ammunition uh, public agents firearms regulations when not in use agency firearms and other controlled items must be stored in a container receptacle, vault, safe, or room. That is that is controlled by the public agency and kept securely locked or in a dwelling place if authorized by the public agency. We're talking about the fucking agency. Shut up! This is for attaining a pal. I like that. What's that one, uh, your, the thing in Florida? You're in your, your space or something like that and you can shoot people within a certain... <laughs> with they get close to you or something? There's several states that what's I can't remember what that's called, but South Park had it. Stan. Your ground. Talked about carbon shot token. Most people who seem so sure that it's fake, they're so quick to point it out. Like, I mean, it's it's almost like saying this girl's tits are fake, right? Like most people right wouldn't step. care. It still creates the same desired effect. And to be honest with you, in the early 2000s show VIP, I thought that Leah Lale was hotter than Pamela Anderson slightly. Other controlled items must, other controlled items being stored in a dwelling place must be securely locked in a container or receptacle that cannot be easily broken into unless the agency has provided other instructions in writing. By law, a potential customer must be 18 years of age, blah, 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 Chilliwack, people 12 years old in Chilliwack, I mean children. This is generally reserved for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Registration? Display. Transportation. Did I see this one already? 
Non-restricted firearms left unattended in a car. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Must be locked in the trunk or in a similar lockable compartment. If the vehicle does not have a trunk or compartment, the fire must be placed out of sight inside the vehicle, and the vehicle must be locked. Same rules apply for transport of replica firearms. Non-restricted firearms. Transported unloaded with the exception of muzzle-loading rifles, which can be transported loaded between hunting sites, so long as the firing cap or flint is removed. Restricted and prohibitive. I don't see anything about being able to walk around with these things. Where, where is this? I don't see anything about walking with guns. Well, if I, you find it, you show it to me. I don't got time because I have uh, uh, my violin class, of course. Try. Let it go. What are you afraid of? You have great passion and you let it out. If you want, you can subscribe to this channel, but you don't have to. In fact, I would, I would advise against it. I actually don't like to succeed. I like pain. I like failure. I'm I'm really weird. I'm demented. But I'm I disturbed. Mean, I'm sick. I thought most people are quiet. People are so certain that it's fake and they're quick to point it out and how it should be obvious. I mean, that's almost like saying Oh, the safety's off. No, no shooting. Okay, go. We got these people, they're from New Jersey. They come out all the way over to Brooklyn, my place. Forget about it. All kinds of problems, they can't fight a fair fight. They got the shoes, the jackets, the Cheetos, they got the Sambuca. Yeah, police, yo, what do you mean? I thought this was the pizza place. Pepperoni, yo.